We do have a very special guest yes. um, on the board of the St. Louis Chess Club, which um, helps make so much happen in the city and, of course, in the international chess world. We have uh, Doug Eckert. Yes, we're with uh, FIDE master Doug Eckert, who uh, is on the board of St. Louis Chess Club, also is a tax partner with Brown, Smith, and Wallace. Welcome to the show. Great. Thank you. Uh, tell us, first of all, about your involvement on the board, how long you've been on there, and, and uh, why is it that you have decided to take this position? Well, I'm on the board uh, for the last two years, and I think that the chess clubs contributed quite a bit to St. Louis and obviously to the chess world, and it's an exciting opportunity to participate in that. Uh, first, I also want to congratulate you for your fine article in the St. Louis Business Journal where you draw great connections between chess and business. Tell us more about that. Sure. So every um, week the St. Louis Business Journal has what's called a character and they're trying to talk about people's hobbies and how they interrelate it with their career. And I mean, chess has been sort of a focus in my life. Um, it's helped me with problem solving skills and being a tax CPA, I mean, that's a very problem oriented profession. And, they work very well together. So they wrote a nice article. It's kind of funny, it's kind of serious, and it helps promote you know, both Brown Smith Wallace as well as chess in the St. Louis community. Are your, your partners over at Brown Smith Wallace making fun of you for being famous now? Um, absolutely. <laughs> you gotta have some fun at my expense. That's part of the deal. Uh, I hear you're also involved in a 2006 golf tournament here in St. Louis. Tell us about that. So every year we have a golf tournament in the first week in October and the purpose of the golf tournament is to raise um, funds for the Scholastic program and right now in St. Louis we service over 200 schools and over 2,000 students and chess is very good at helping students develop critical thinking skills. Um, it's going to help them academically as well as with their profession in the future and we think it's an exciting program and this is our way of raising money for those programs to expand it and hopefully um, continue to promote the game. No, definitely. And Maurice, you've obviously been a part of that as well and we appreciate your efforts in that and maybe you can tell us a little bit about that also. Uh, I'm the one conducting the <laughs> Oh, you are. Oh, I can't turn this around. Sorry. <laughs> tell us, you, are, you are a FIDE master. Uh, you must love having something like the St. Phil Cup here in St. Louis. Yeah, I mean, it's great to see all these players. I, I mean, it's hard for people to understand how good these are and the tension that's in these games. I, I mean, it's unbelievable the ideas they come up with and it, it's fantastic. What's your fondest memory as a chess player? Do, you do, do anything special in your life? Um, participating in the 1984 U.S. Junior Closed, uh, it gave me an opportunity to play with um, 10 or 12 of the very best junior players in the country. And you know, it's hard to believe that was in 1984. It's 32 years ago, but I'm still friends with all those guys in that tournament. And I think every year we have that junior tournament here in St. Louis. And not only you, do you develop friendships for a lifetime, but it's also amazing how successful these people have been in their careers. And you know, over the last 30 years almost every one of these people that participate are, are very successful people. Tell me a couple of names, I don't recall that. So, so we have Max DeLugge, oh, um, who's guy. a grandmaster, Patrick Wolf, oh, that uh, guy, yeah. that two guy. Time and, and we had now. Stuart Rachels, oh, another uh, US so, champion. right, and then Ben Feingold who's been resident oh, grandmaster nobody. here, nobody right exactly. Him, yeah. So it was a fun group and um, it's been great to know those guys over the years. Who do you think is taking the, the Singfield Cup home this year? Um, these guys are all good, so I, I'm going to be noncommittal um, what? to that. What? <laughs> what is that? You can't be noncommittal. Right. We've all had to bet, so you got to give us one name. Of course anybody could win. Uh, that, that's uh, hedging your bets for real there. Come on, I, I mean, for what I've seen, um, Vessel and Topalov has had some good positions. I'm not sure about his position right now, but um, he, he's looked pretty good so far. Um, Fabiano, I, I think, has you know, made St. Louis his home, and I think we're all rooting for him. You're since still he's, hedging your bets. Here, just, I'm just hedging give us my bets. Okay, just Fabiano. Us thank you. Okay, that's all you had to say. <laughs> Doug Eckert, thank you so much for all the work that you do for chess here mm -hmm. uh, in St. Louis. We really appreciate it. Great. Thank you very much.